Okay, after watching NFL Honors, I felt I had to say something because it is absolutely ludicrous the fact that Terrell Owens didn't make it into the Hall of Fame for reasons I don't understand. A lot of people can say it's a cancer to the, to the teams that he was on, but he has been productive every single year that he's been in the NFL. He never really had a down year in the NFL. Mind you, next year, Randy Moss is going to be eligible. What does that mean? If you made T.O. wait, you got to make Randy wait. And the amount of receivers that are coming in and waiting to go to the Hall of Fame, it's ridiculous now. You still got Hines Ward who's waiting. In five years, you're going to have Steve Smith who shows up. You already got Randy Moss showing up next year. You got T.O. who's still waiting. Isaac Bruce is waiting. Uh, Torrey Holt is waiting. And you got a whole plethora of receivers who's coming. Now, speaking about linemen, I don't understand how a single lineman didn't make it into the Hall of Fame this year. Alephanica, you should have been there. If we want to talk about defensive linemen, Steelers fans, we know. All right, L.C. Greenwood should have already been in the Hall of Fame. There's no reason why the man should still be waiting. Well, then again, he can't really wait no more because the man dead. So his family's still waiting for him to get into the Hall of Fame. Jim Marshall, who played for the damn Vikings, he should be in the Hall of Fame right now. Jerry Kramer, who's the offensive guard who played for the Lombardi and the Packers, he's the only one who's not in the Hall of Fame. Why is he not in the Hall of Fame? This is ridiculous to me. Jerry Jones makes it? Now, I understand, Jerry Jones should be a Hall of Fame owner for what he did in the 90s. But since then, what has he done? Matter of fact, what has he done since 96? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yes, Dallas Cowboys may be a trademark in Texas. It may be America's team, which they shouldn't be because everybody knows... Art, you know, Art Rooney turned it down for the Pittsburgh Steelers, but whatever the case may be, I don't understand how you're continually having, and my phone's ringing, and you continually have all of these players, great players, great owners, great coaches, who are waiting, waiting to go to the hall, but you continue to keep it at seven. Why, last year we had eight inductees, this year we have seven. You have all these great players who are waiting, but you keep it at seven. I'm not understanding that how the hell T.O.'s not in the Hall of Fame. And you put in Terrell Davis. Wonderful. Is it well-deserved? Yes, it is. Should you have put him in? Because if you want to compare him, the best comparison would be a Gail Sayers. All right, because Gail Sayers played, what, six years and he got into the Hall of Fame because of that injury that he had to his knee? If it was modern-day medicine, he probably would have had a longer career. Same thing for Terrell Davis had his um, you know, career-ending injury. But if you're going to open up that door, now that opens up the door for Marshawn Lynch in four years because now they can say, oh, but you let Terrell Davis in who only played six, seven, eight years and you let him in. First person that comes to mind is Sterling Sharp. Sterling Sharp should already be in the Hall of Fame. If we're going to use the conversation for Davis, we should use that same conversation for Sterling Sharp. All right? That man should be in the Hall of Fame. Alan Fanica, God, I already said it before, that man needs to be in the Hall of Fame too. It'll come in due time. All right, Kevin Mawai, I'm not too sure why he got snubbed. Um, snubbed. If we want to talk about safeties over here, you got Brian Dawkins. I understand why he's not a first ballot Hall of Fame. I understand that. All right? I'm not complaining about that. But you got a safety in him who's going to be waiting. Two years from now, Ed Reed's going to be showing up. All right? So he's going to have to go in first ballot because Ed Reed is arguably the greatest safety of all time. Another person after Ed Reed, a single season after Ed Reed, that'd be Troy Palomalu. The second conversation for the greatest safety um all time he's gonna have to go too you got a uh, freaking john lynch just got the gm for the um san francisco 49ers what's the purpose of keeping him waiting for this damn long you got all these players who are waiting great players who are waiting right now matter of fact i think i wrote down something i think i wrote down something there's a couple of people over here who, who's waiting right now uh, uh let's see you got um rod smith uh, Steve Smith Sr., he's going to be showing up. And next year, you have Ray Lewis, who's going to be showing up. Charles Woodson, who's going to be showing up. Uh, uh, Brian Erleck, who's going to be showing up. All these other goddamn players who's going to be waiting to go to the Hall of Fame. But for some apparent reason, the people who need to be in the Hall of Fame, they're continually waiting. And the people who you've had for years, who are supposed to already be in the Hall of Fame, now they're taking up spots. Extend the number of inductees to the Hall of Fame. There's no reason of keeping it at 7 and 8 now. Move it to 10. Move it to 11. Because a whole lot of these people, they're going to end up dying and never getting the chance to put that ring on and give that speech. It's ridiculous. Now, going back to T.O., I'm not understanding how the hell he's not a first. He should have been a first ballot Hall of Famer. There's no reason why you're keeping this man waiting. Because I'll tell you something right now. There better be an uproar in the world if Randy Moss is a first ballot Hall of Famer next year and T.O.'s not. All right? Say what you want about T.O., but the man was productive on the field. If we want to if we want to talk about people who are Hall of Famers, if we want to speak about what Hall of Famers do, we should be speaking about what they do on the field. All right? We shouldn't care about what happens in the locker room, none of this other crap. Okay? We should be focused on what happens on the field. Because if that's the case, if we want to focus on what happens outside of the field, we should already be revoking O.J. Simpson. All right? If that was the case. Whatever you've done in your personal life, that shit doesn't matter. That shit does not matter, man. This is ridiculous. I'm not understanding how the hell T.O.'s not in the damn Hall of Fame. Another year he gets snubbed for what? If T.O.'s not a Hall of Famer, nobody's a Hall of Famer. And put L.C. Greenwood in the damn Hall of Fame. Got the man waiting for years. He done died. Now his family's waiting now. Put him in the damn Hall of Fame. 